What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Michael Lewis Hudson here. So standing behind me is Seattle Golf Fitness. We're gonna go check it out and take you guys on a journey. As you know, I'm trying to 80 this year, so I'm doing all that I can to absorb as much knowledge as I can. So we're here, so let's go check it out. All right, guys, so uh, thanks for joining us again. I'm here with Herman. Yep. How are you doing today, man? Doing good, doing good. Ready to take you through all this process that we're gonna do uh, with the evaluation and everything. So what's the plan today? What are you gonna be taking me through? I'm gonna take you through the TPI screen. It's mm -hmm. gonna be uh, a full evaluation. Uh, first, we're gonna go through some um, uh, mobility, stability tests. We're gonna break down all the movements of the golf swing in order to figure out if there's any issues. Uh, after that, we're gonna go through the super speed uh, protocol, get numbers, uh, see how fast you can win the, the golf club. Then we're gonna go next door to the simulators hit seven and driver uh, to see also a uh, club head speed, ball speed. After that, coming back here to the gym and do the power and strength uh, assessments. I mean, like I told you before when we first met, you know, one of my big goals this year is to break 80. So um, I'm hoping that uh, what we do today is gonna help me achieve that. So. After the process, uh, every client uh, get um, a personalized uh, golf exercise program. After a few weeks, a few months, uh, working hard here in the gym, we'll start seeing uh, better scores, uh, play with less pain. So all of that helped to, to become a better golfer and hit 90 or less than that for sure. Let's go, baby. Yeah. I'm excited, let's get this going. It's gonna give us a golf fitness handicap. It gave you a 24 golf fitness handicap. Out of, um, out of 100? Out of, uh, no, 100 now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 30, 30, 35. Oh, okay. Kind of okay. like a, also like a regular uh, a golf handicap. So that's the goal. Try to next time, uh, whenever you do the next uh, TPI screen. So how often do you usually uh, test? So um, for our clients, we go every six weeks. We don't guess, we assess. Talking about, yeah, what we saw. And now we know what this person needs to work on more. So based on what you see, see me do today, what do I need to improve on? We're taking glute uh, strength. They're good. Glutes are the king in the golf swing. Okay. Core is the queen. So that's pretty good. We did a seated trunk rotation. That's good. You pass 45 degrees uh, on your right and on your left, on the back swing and down swing. So that's, that's a good sign. You're able to rotate your torso, but then we can see that there's other stuff that can, Ooh, um, cool. yeah, limited that okay. rotation. Hamstrings are pretty, pretty good. Usually most uh, people have really tight hamstrings, so mm -hmm. that's awesome. You usually yes. try to stretch them or- All, all, all the time. All the time. Yeah. And then set up faster. I was uh, taking a look of your back. Setup pastor is neutral, it's good. It wasn't in a C pastor. It wasn't also uh, like an S, so that's really good. Things that can be a little bit better. First thing, uh, cervical rotation. <laughs> it was a little bit limited, both sides, and why it's important. So we, did do, we do this, and in the golf swing, we do this. Mm. Keeping the head looking at the ball and rotating. Neck is limited. We're not gonna be able to keep looking at the ball, so probably our backswing or follow through is gonna be short. Pelvic rotation, trying to move upper body or lower body without opposite. You were able to do it, but uh, as soon as I was holding either your hips or your shoulders, your movement it was better. That means that you're able to do it, but we need something to stabilize you. So we need to work more in uh, stability exercises uh -huh. in order to be able to lock, in this case, like upper body and move lower mm -hmm. or lock upper and move lower. Would you say that um, a lot of the clients that you see, like the, the tight hips and then the tight lats are like the co most common issues you see? Especially the... hips. Okay. Hips, yeah. So. Hips is one of the things that, that we see mm -hmm. most commonly in the, in the average golfers. Mm -hmm. Usually a lot of people are of, I mean, yeah, nowadays we 
get up from bed and sit down and have breakfast. Go to the car and we're sitting down. Watch TV and we're sitting down. So we, we need to be more, a little bit more active. Yeah. So you are in the average, don't worry. <laughs> it's, all right. it's all good. And yeah, let's keep going. Let's do super speed. Okay, sweet. Awesome. Yeah. Before we jumped into full bore with the super speed training session, her mate took me through a handful of drills to get my body loose, limber, warmed up, and ready to go. So the next thing that we did was the super speed training, and it was a very similar workout that I did with the Seattle golf doctor in a previous video. I'll be sure to link it above for you to check it out. Now, after the super speed, we're gonna check seven iron and driver club head speed and ball speed with both of them. Yeah. What, why, why those specific clubs? Uh, we'll usually use the seven iron as a mid, um, a mid, mid uh, club yeah, of the yeah. other golf bag and then just the driver as the, the, the longest one. And the, yeah. I'm gonna put these dots in the club face. So for the GC. I've been thinking about form and stuff or is it Nothing. Just, just yeah. about speed? Nothing about form. And also, we don't care where the ball goes. All right. As I said, don't worry about where the ball goes. One more. Okay. One, almost 190 carry. Yeah, because then... I'm warmed up, you know, from the... Sure. <laughs> That's why <laughs> it's so important to have a proper warm up before we hit balls or, yeah, yeah. or play golf. A little bit slower, camera here, the shoulder. I draw this line to see if you pass that line in the backswing, or, and then I draw this one if you pass that line in the follow through. So let's see that. Oh God. Way That's a big way. Yeah. It's weird because I don't even feel, I don't even like you don't feel, feel it, right? Say. Yeah. So how tight are they and they're not letting wow. you to rotate. And uh, let's check this out in the, that's better, but as you can see, there's a little bit of hang back mm. in the swing. That's that's why you're not actually passing that line. Man, that's weird because like when I don't even have a if, when I'm not hitting a ball, right? Well, you know when sometimes you're just working on your swing at home or whatever. Yep. And I even look in the mirror, like I don't even sway at all. Yeah. It's weird that like I have a club in hand, I'm hitting the ball. Everything like, changed. Yeah, it just changed. Yeah, yeah, crazy. for real. <sighs> Drivers the one I really need to work on. This Come one. Let's get a good one. one. Fill it fast. You usually don't slice it like that. All right, we got numbers. Average PGA Tour for the driver, the club head speed is like usually 113, and for the ball speed, 164. Okay. And the best numbers that you had, even though like we don't care yeah. where the ball went, we got a 160. Um, ball speed on the driver okay. and then the club header was 123. We're there in the yeah, numbers about just the hit straight, speed. You know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That. All right, let's come back to the gym and let's do power and strength. All right. You're gonna be here, uh, shoulder width apart. You can like swing down and then up. Uh, 18. And uh, 19, 15, that was the best one. Med ball in your chest or a little bit apart, I don't, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You're gonna rock back and forward as many times as you can. You're gonna throw that as oh, far okay. as you can. Got it. Whatever you want. Big throw. Big, 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 big. Ugh. All right, 20.4, that's good. Awesome. All right, man. Hey, dude, extraordinary stuff today. Thanks for showing us your facility and taking me through all that, those workouts and stuff like that. So yeah, if somebody's fun. interested in, in working with you and setting up an appointment, how, how can they do that? How can they find you? Yeah, um, well, yeah, they can find us through Instagram, Seattle Fitness, also through the website, 
Uh, you type on Google Seattle Fitness, Fitness and it's gonna be super easy to find us. Uh, you can email us, you can contact, uh, contact us through Instagram as well. We can uh, schedule an evaluation and go from there. So all the golfers in the, in the area to unlock their, their true golf potential, right? Sweet, man. So, hey guys, if you guys are interested, make sure to check them out. I'll be sure to put all the information down in the description. And again, hey, Herman, dude, that was awesome stuff. You did great. Looking, looking you did forward great. to working with you, man. Awesome. Thank you.